guys. So this is uh, shooting Cine Steel at night part two. We are going to take my Mamiya 645 and I'm going to load Cine Steel 800T inside and we are going around like the Bras Pasa district to shoot uh, film. This period is like the Singapore night festival period where there's quite a lot of like sculptures and a lot of installations that's around the area, a lot of light shows and performances as well. So we are going to go around, we're going to shoot some street, we're going to shoot some architecture and uh, we're going to shoot like around this area lah, and see what kind of shots we're going to get. And it just so happens that right now, it's like drizzling. So we will probably get quite a lot of like moody shots. Lah. So this time Murphy is in my favour. So we are at the Cathay Green right now and there's like a mock-up of like the Cathay Cineplex which is actually over there. Uh, and I think this is to pay homage to like the Singapore like film culture of the like 1960s because they are showing like the Oran Minyak films. So the Cathay has been on the news lately because of the change of hands from like cine uh, cinema operators. Uh, the Cathay, the, the cinema area used to be like owned by MM2 or rather MM2 was operating the space and then they have since like moved out. And the projector, like this indie cinema operator, is now moved in. So, uh, quite a big hoo ha and quite a big like shake up in the cinema industry, lah. Yeah. Uh, let's go over and then we can shoot the actual facade of the Kete. So I think I'll take this shot, like with, it's like a white shot with the cat in the background. Then with the cars going right, making it a long, long exposure, so everything will just become light trails. I think it will look quite nice. Ah. I think this uh, walk around like the Bras Pasa district, right, is a good comparison from my first video. Because if you remember in my first video, and if you have not watched, uh, link up above, uh, we have like the local Andrew bringing us, bringing us around and sharing with us like the local heritage. La. So that's like a more organic, uncensored look of like heritage in Singapore. Whereas this uh, night festival is kind of like a curated way of promoting arts and culture with like different artists and different installations around. So it's quite interesting to see like the parallel. Like if you look at the my first video, right, it's very haphazard, it's very like rush and go. Like we have uh, Andrew telling us like, hey, look at look out for this window or look out for this architecture. Whereas here this um, these sculptures and these installations are already laid out for you and you just go and visit them one by one. And actually it's not really about the architecture of the space or like about the heritage of this space even though the Bras Prasar Bugis district is a very like uh, rich in terms of culture because it's our uh, business district right uh, but I think really what the National Heritage Board is, is really trying to promote tourism promote um, arts and culture here lah. that's why you see a lot of like light installations so I guess that's my reflection for this video I think it's good that after the pandemic people are coming back together again uh, it's good to see that the street is more lively again lah, and like people are coming together, enjoying themselves, watching performances, watching installations and stuff. So I think right now I'll just take some shots of the architecture. The nice thing about like Bras Pasa Bugis district right is that you have like new buildings as well as like old buildings that are preserved for like preservation purposes lah.
Hi guys, I hope you all enjoyed yourself watching this video. Uh, it was quite difficult getting all the shots because it's still raining right now. Uh, but yeah, I hope the shots turn out nicely. And I guess another reflection for myself is that, right, I'll just keep doing medium format photography until maybe in future where film runs out or like people stop developing film anymore. But who knows, maybe 50 years down the road, people want to find out more about medium format, they'll look to my videos and say, oh, this guy did medium format before, this is how medium format look like. So I guess, yeah, that will be my conclusion for this video. Lah. So till next time, see you.